Hey guys, welcome back once again in the F5 learning. In the previous session, I discussed about how basically load balancer works, was the theory behind it, and uh, the functionality. So I have given you a demo basically that uh, how basically the F5 LTM that is called as a local traffic manager or the load balancer that works. But whenever like you want to set it to the lab and you want to do by yourself, it is very important to understand the connectivity and topology basically that how F5 big IP connects with the different environment, right? And one thing which makes big IP different from other product products, that is the connectivity for the interface, right? So whenever we connect this big IP to any switch or any router or towards the left hand side, the new terms comes as the self IP, self IP address, right? So what is that it's basically self IP? And if you don't know that, understand that concept, you are like to uh, never understand the FI. You will be struggling in the connectivity, how to connect the or the assign an IP address to the interfaces. Okay, so if I log in here, if you see this, uh, the GUI, there is a tab as a network here, right? So there's a network and there's interfaces. So if I click simply on the interfaces, so how basically we have taken, we have taken a big IP and that big IP interface Ethernet 1.1 is connected to this machine and it Ethernet 1.3 is connected to our switch, but finally it is on the same network to connect it to these servers. In real environment, uh, these could be connecting to the routers specifically here, and behind that it could be going to the multiple switches, or it could be a switch and then the router. Ultimately, you have to give an IP address to these interfaces. But if I check these interfaces, right, you see that I have interfaces 1.1. 1.2 and 1.3. So connectivity I have from the 1.1 and 1.3. So 1.2 I don't have. So 1.2 it says as a uninitialized. That's normal because I haven't configured that and that's saying as an uninitialized. What about this which are up? We are using that Ethernet 1.1 and 1.3. What is the IP address I have configured? I'm using them as a L3 interface there's an IP, there should be an IP address, but I don't see any, uh, you know, thing to configure, but how basically we can configure if you have gone to the router or the firewall, directly on the interfaces, we can assign an IP address. But here, there's no option. If I even click out here, you see the details you can see, the interface configuration L1 and configuration that, uh, you see these values, the description, but not at all that what IP address you have to assign. Correct. So uh, let me tell you one thing that what basically this uh, F5 does or they have given, they do not give an option to assign an IP address directly to any of the interfaces. Rather, you have to create a type of SVI as we do in the switch uh, routers. Right. So for example, you have one router and over there you have to connect to multiple VLAN. So if I draw like this, oh, to this, let me open my pen. Okay. So for example, if I take the pen here, right? So you have a router here, right? And from that router, it could be like VLAN 100 is connected to here, 200 is connected to here. And we create a SVI. Basically, if you remember the Cisco terminology, uh, then we create interface dot one, dot two, dot three, and we assign them as a dot one queue. If you don't know the CCNA, it's going to be hard for you to understand this, but it is really important that you should know the basic networking, then only you can proceed with it. Otherwise, it's not going to be an easy task for you to especially set it, setting it up. Like once it is set it up, 
you can do play other things but uh, setting up it will be really challenging for you so the same thing it is going to happen that what we are going to do for every interface whatever we are having we have to assign one vlan okay once we create a vlan so there's an option of the vlans here you see so i have to create a vlan so how basically we can create a vlan you can just simply like create mu and i can give a name for example i am giving it as a uh, for example vlan underscore 100 okay description you can give if you want and then even this tag is optional if you want to give the tag you can give if you don't want that's fine and on which uh, interface you want to assign that vlan so i um, have selected 1.1 .1, so this vlan 100 is going to be selected as a 1.1 .1, okay and i will add here so now you see that the option is there that you want to uh, use this as a tagged or untagged so if you know the switching tagged is basically that uh, that vlan id will be associated whenever it's leaving that interface and if i select as untagged the vlan id will be disassociated like vlan tag will be removed from the packet and then uh, it will be going further so same concept as a switch like the trunk we use as a tag and uh, which is like uh, going towards any computer or the router then we select as untagged so here i'm going to select as untagged because the uh, this 1.1 .1 interface is connected towards the pc right 1.1 .1 is connected towards pc that that should be uh, untagged if you don't know this one you can watch my ccna uh, video tutorials you will get a little bit understanding okay so if you want to create multiple vlans you can click on finished if sorry uh, if you you can click on repeat but if you just want to create this one only and want to finish it just click finish if you want to repeat the system like for, for example you want to create the vlan 200 as well then you can click an option repeat but as of now i'm just creating one in order to show you it says that the requested number vlan is an untagged on another vlan ah okay so let's use another interface for example one to two and try to add it okay and finish so now it has this vlan 100 has created on the 1.2 right so this one or let's create uh, okay anyway because we're just learning uh, you can do practice uh, do, do later on okay so now this vlan 100 is created now what you can do like you have to assign an ip address on the f5 so for that you have to go to the self ips self ips are basically an ip address which will be lying here somewhere on the f5 and that will be communicating to the further devices so either you uh, assign an ip address directly to the interface or you go an option to the self ip somewhere like on the f5 you can say the virtual interface type of thing and there you have certain ip address and that will be communicating to the further so that's what i have done in the if you see the configuration here so i have an ip address 172.16.1.254 right and where that is basically the default gateway for all these servers same series 172.16.1.3 right 1.254 and that's what like it is there in the next videos i will just completely setting it up i will not be like uh, going this one but just uh, i'm explaining that self ip that's what i'm uh, giving this one but next uh, video i will delete these one and uh, then i will create a fresh new for you so that you can understand that easily so as of now what i can do i can click on create okay and if i do it here and now i can give a name that what's the self ip name so that you can assign basically let's suppose it is for dmz the network or whatever the name you want to give and then i can assign an ip address whatever you are interested so usually it's like if it has a uh, public facing you can give a public ip if you have your internal ips you can give the internal ips so for example i'm taking up for the internal ips 172.16.3.1 okay so that's the default gateway i have taken and the subnet mask for this i will take the same 255 or 255 .255 zero now you see that's a vlan option is there right so whatever just now i have created vlan 100 i can choose that okay i'll select that 
VLAN 100 port lockdown. So what basically it says that what are the ports you want to allow? You want to allow all, allow default, allow none, allow custom. So I will allow default. So whatever default traffic is coming, that will be going from here. The traffic group I will be explaining later on whenever I'm discussing the HA, basically the high availability concept. Okay. Though you might be like uh, confused at why I'm discussing the self IPs very first, but it is very essential to set up the connectivity. If you don't configure that self IPs, you cannot make the connectivity from the server or towards the server. Okay. So in the upcoming videos, I will be telling you that how to set it up this lab, how to make these connectivities, where can you find the images of there. Okay. So that I will be telling you in detail in the next session. So if I click finished, I it will create a new interface 172.16.3.1. So now what is happening that uh, you can assign anything. Let's suppose you create a new, add a new switch here. My switch is coming as 3725. Okay. Name, I will give them as DMZ switch. Okay. Okay. Anyways, like this is switch basically, but there's a symbol came to the router, but don't worry. Okay. And then I will connect it to the. Uh, okay. So I have to switch it off to connect it. So basically, it, I will like connect it to the interface 1.2. So if you have like good hands on on the EVNG, you, know, you might be having in mind that whenever I connect it, it asks me the option that where you want to connect it. So it will, I will select an option 1.2 and accordingly, I will also select all the node 7. So I will be just showing you in the upcoming videos, next video, because I will just delete this one and then I will show you that how to set it as lab because that's basically like uh, I can show you actual things. Otherwise, you will be thinking that how basically I created this lab. And also, one more thing that how to set it up the evng that video you can uh, watch it that's already available on my youtube channel so the link i will be giving you in the description so you can set it up the evng on your machine using that video okay and how to download the image for the big ip how to get that licensed how these uh, servers can be downloaded how the connectivity will be done like this or create lab like this right so for that i will be recording in the next session but you have to be ready with this evng platform that background you see right so evng platform you should be ready and then i will be telling you that uh, how to uh, uh, download this big ip image how to make this connectivity and how this get this license because if you see it here currently my uh, F big IP is license, but if you just download it and uh, do not activate the license, it is going to be tough for you. So meanwhile, you can also register on this portal in order to get the license because this is like free for 30 days. So every time you have to like uh, it for your email ID, they will send you the key. So I'm pretty sure that you are watching the first time. And so you might have not registered it. And even if you have registered, you have to register in order to get the key. If that has expired right so if it's the first time you can click on this sign up and you can sign it up so you can do this one later on that how to download and all that i will be telling you the next session okay all right guys so i'm stopping it here and that was about your self ips that how to create and what is the significance uh, basically of the self ips so now i'm pretty sure that you understood basically that what is the concept so these are like uh, you can say the sub interface type as uh, not type of a sub interface as we are having the cisco switches or the svi right so that's the same concept so for that you have to create the vlans and then only you can assign an ip address so whenever you want to assign any ip address to the interface of the big ip then you have to use the self ip there's another no option all right guys so i'm stopping it here will connect you back very soon with the more details meanwhile uh, if you are watching it first time let me tell you that you can access my website this fresh developer.online okay so this is my website and from here 
there's an option of the self-learning and you will see that option of the f5 ldm so over there you will get the all the sessions what i'm recording here and uh, you can watch them list of that one okay other resources you can get on this website my net.fresdoubleboard.online so i might be giving the links on the description you can go through it if not there's like simply you can keep in mind net.freshdeveloper.online name of my channel uh, as well as my website and the original website is freshdeveloper.online so here basically that's like lms page okay and other one is my home page all right so here uh, you will be getting the resources that how to download the uh, images cvng and all so under the free resources if you are watching the first time like you have not uh, registered on that one just create a new account so that you can access my the uh, free content what is available on this web website all right guys so i'm stopping it here see you soon in the next video did that bye bye